Well, I want to thank the Chinese hospital for your hospitality today, for bringing us all together, and also express my appreciation of my colleague, Assemblywoman Fiona Ma's national leadership on this and working with Ted Fang. And you know, you never want to come between Ted Fang and an idea, because it's a very dangerous place to be. But he's been very tenacious and dedicated in making sure that this idea of San Francisco hep be free can become a reality, and it is within our grasp through a public-private partnership, something that we shouldn't be afraid of. And Madam Speaker, thank you for your courage and tenacity in speaking up for the public option. You know, we're surrounded by public options. Public options is the rule, not the exception. We have public options in transportation. We have public hospitals. We have private hospitals. We have, you know, there are those who think that places where you can go to read books for free, public option for book readers is a communist plot to put booksellers out of business, but we can live not only and thrive with our public options. And again, we're so fortunate in spite of the extraordinary infection rates that there is a vaccine. In fact, the World Health Organization has called the Hep B vaccine the first anti-cancer vaccine in the world, and that's what it is. So get tested, get treated, and of course, get vaccinated.